started the process of the project I was going through like a major writer's block and I wasn't creating too much I had the, the one song one song which is actually which um is actually on um the EP but um after that song I was mute and then um I just started freestyling more you know and then from freestyling came to me linking with Lenny and that's what kind of inspired and pushed the project you know me actually having the production you know so yeah honestly uh, wanting wanting having a hunger you know being really hungry and wanting to do something and then finally like god rolling in those resources <laughs> and that's what kind of just pushed me to to get it done yeah, that's what basically inspired it. Just being the resources. Resources inspired <laughs> this project. Basically, yeah, that. I'm a catch and you know that. Yeah. Alright, then let me, let me yeah. move the rest up there. You got me doing that that complex that college the shit I learned in college, like. Exactly. You're supposed to be using it. But I, I feel like um Honestly, my previous previous experiences, like as far as um, working on music before, like 327, that experience kind of helped this experience because I, I got a chance to like learn from my mistakes, you know, and um, I felt like the 327 was the real test of waters. It was like the real trial and error. Like, I definitely learned what to do and what not to do. And this time around, you know, actually learning from those mistakes, you know, and actually putting things into play, like, it, it definitely went way smoother, you know, like, as far as, you know, one thing would be communication, you know. Um, I'm going to be honest, like, working with more, like, reliable people and working with people who have the same determination as you as well you know and honestly keeping people around you like your friends your team and everything like that that um keeping them really close you know first time around i didn't really have a team this time around like i have you know a small team which is great for me because <laughs> i don't want beats around too many people anyway <laughs> but uh, a small team that you know their determination is just like mine their work ethic is just like mine and they definitely, you know, pick me up when I'm low. So, like, my past experience is what fueled, you know, uh, this project and has helped me get to the point where I am now with It's All Love. Wade is the only one on my fingers, and he grabbed my tea. That's good. And he got both the drawings down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the challenges that I've experienced during this process was, um, once again, Everybody's kind of had that same experience with like COVID. Um, it still was graceful. I moved through this project fast, very, very fast. And I get the best experience to me outside of like recording and getting it done is actually having, you know, my friends, you know, my, my team, my team are my friends. Um, my, my friends like support me. Because it's hard to do stuff without support, you know, and to have people around, you know, that are just as excited as you fueled this um, this project. You know, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to really get it done without them. Like I probably would have got it done, but it wouldn't as it wouldn't have been as fun, 
yeah that was my best experience having them around and you know being there with me you know i love support i like having my close friends around me a lot Oh, you know that? You got that off Google? No, I remember that from when we was in the studio that time. <laughs> the best part about working on each track is just when you all right, all right. When you um I only really got a chance to record, you know, because I'll record at home sometimes. Like I'll record on my laptop at the crib, you know, just to see how I'm going to basically do the track. I'll go ahead and do lay all my backgrounds and everything. So therefore, when I get to the studio, it's just smooth. I mean, the best part about recording these songs, like I said before already, is recording them. It's one thing to write them. It's another thing to get in and actually bring the track to life. So just being able to record them, listen to them and just be and just fall in love with them. You know, because sometimes what I hear, like it'll come out, it comes out way better than what I even hear. So that's the best part, just bringing the tracks to life. Yeah. So basically every song on there is basically about love, whether it be you healing, loving yourself, you know, heartbreak that's still love, love involved in that. And I have a song that's, it's the last song, it's called Love Me Right. So it's just you know, a sum up of what you're you're going to hear on the rest of the project. Um, Gone. Gone is just about being in a relationship and your significant other saying all of this stuff to you, you know, filling your head up, you know, with all of these lies. <laughs> just basically telling, you know, telling you everything that sounds good, like, you know, they love you, that they'll always be there, et cetera, et cetera. You guys have been in love before, you know, but um, but in the end, you know, it doesn't turn out so well. There's a breakup and that person is gone and you're kind of left a, a little scorned. We've all experienced heartbreak. I just know like when I hear a particular song, I can, and whatever feeling it gives me, I can put myself in that emotion. Cause right now I'm chilling. I'm, single already the mix I'm playing I'm single and I'm chilling but you know I had to put myself in it you know in that place where like oh I've been heartbroken before I've been lied to before and that's what helped me kind of get that song out but I know it'll res resonate with you know some people and you'll be able to vibe to it and I actually have Arnetta Arnetta that's my dog she I'm gonna go ahead and big her up now she uh she don't play for everybody though, but the biggest is Beyonce. I like that. So Arnetta will be playing at the end. Okay. So I'm waiting for her to send it back. I sent it to her yesterday, so she'll have it to me probably in a few days. I'll actually just send that to you. Okay. Cause I'm pretty sure we won't have to come back. But I actually have her playing her trumpet at the end of the track, which I thought was super dope. When she sent it to me, I got super duper hyped. I've never done anything like that. Never had like someone really come in and like actually play guitar or trumpet or anything. So to have her send me that and put it on the record, like I felt like that was hella cool. Thank you, Arnetta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was putting all of my love into them, man. I wasn't loving myself. Then when I turn around and needed a hand, man, where was the help? Putting too much time in their dreams, I wasn't nurturing my Putting all of my time into people, meanwhile, I was getting left behind. Now you see. Lenny sent me a sample. Sent me a sample. And I was like, whoa. Well, he was actually playing it over FaceTime. When he sent the sample, I already started like writing a little bit. But then I stopped because, you know, of course you want to have a full beat just because beats pull a different emotion out of you. Um, so he started working, working on a sample. Of course, I was like, yo, give me this here, give me this here, give me this type of sound. You know, at first he did something else, but we ended up slowing it down because I wanted to really be in my feelings during the song. But um, he sent me the record. I wrote it in like literally two minutes. I think I was on the phone with you. Yeah, I was like, yep, yep. I wrote that joint in literally like two minutes. I was on the phone with Breezy and I was on the phone with him first. And then he sent me that, got it done in two minutes. I'm gonna figure this 
And that's heal. Heal is just uh, speaking from experience. Like it's just talking about going through the uh, the healing process. Like it don't have to be a breakup that you go through in order for you to you know go through healing. It could be anything, just life. But um, I know some people will resonate with that too. Uh, I know a lot of people will resonate with it. It'll resonate with a lot of people. But um, heal is definitely one of my favorite records because I feel good listening to it. I just feel like yeah, I'm able to speak. You know, it, I was just basically, uh, that, it's just, uh, that's my favorite record. Like it really is just because I, I feel like I'm going to speak to a lot of people and I feel like it's going to help a lot of people actually heal. I really believe that like from my whole heart, I think it'll definitely help you. Self love was actually a different song. It was, well, it was still self love, but it was to a different beat. Remember? It was, yeah. It was to a whole different beat and then <laughs> I wrote the lyrics to it, everything. And then I just said to Bree, yo, this ain't it. I just was like, yo, I don't think that this is the song. Like, I don't I don't feel right about it. Even though I wrote it, some just, you know, it's, it was the discernment. I was just like, yo, this don't feel right. I love myself. 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 So we got back in, created something new, and that's what. So that's the self love that we have now. Uh, wrote wrote totally different lyrics, and uh, now it it got a little party bop to it. Y'all can rock too, but um, but yeah, self love is one of it's like my second favorite record just because like me listen even me listening to it, it makes me fall in love with myself that much more. You know, I was just writing. You know, just going in, but then listening back to it, just like, oh wow, I really said some stuff on there, <laughs> and it felt and it feels good, you know. But um, self love was super dope. It is just funny that it was a different record at first, and now it's this. This was my time of just being creative, being in my space, being creative, and just putting some art together. It wasn't too serious, like, oh, this is, this is this is this and this is that, like, nah. It was just very, very free. So I just want people to vibe with it. And if you love it, that's amazing. If you love it, I'm not gonna say you hate it. You're not gonna hate it. No, like, you're not gonna hate it. You're gonna love it. But, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so just perceive it however you want to, it's art, you know? I, I don't want to be in control of that. It's all up to the people. But I'm just, I'm definitely excited about the project though. But all you did was throw us away And I can't help but think about the times The times when you were mine How could you just throw us away? Yeah, you on your own with that one, Chance. That's my shit. I don't like to say this because this is going to be on the video. My man Wave is holding this joint sturdy. Like, <laughs> he is holding this thing sturdy right here. He like this. He bend it down. He getting closer and closer to me each time. He don't even care about my eyes. I'm like... <laughs> Real <laughs> weird, like she like you need help. <laughs> that joke, like he like. Asked you. <laughs> get out there. Let me get my lens out. Get, get out there. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Good. 
I think I think it's alright. You're about to come. I'm good. I'm good. Alright, ready? Alright, right, I'm good. What you doing out here? What you doing in the middle? What you doing out here in the middle? <laughs> <laughs> What they be like? How do you feel about it? Right? Yeah, get on camera. You already know I'm with it. I know. I mean, I was waiting for that to come out. Come Say on, no y'all. Come Say on. No more. Uh, Say no more. I knew you was about to. I'll, listen, that's what I was waiting for. You know, I gotta break out the signature. Yes, I'm, I'm with it. It's about to end, and you still ain't caught up. Oh God. I know we had an argument, but I want you to come back home. I know you We done gas her up. We done gas her up. I'm going to be high in Right. Boring, <laughs> exotic, How you used to be in the party, bro? I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. Say it. I love myself. Hey. I love myself. Hey. You can't even like come to me and be like, you gotta be like, <coughs> okay. add this in there, and they be like, oh no, I was gonna get to that, and I'm like, oh my fault. <laughs> oh, would you be like my fault because you hear it? Like even when I was uh when I was with Lenny and we were doing stuff, and I was like, yo, I hear this. He's like, yo, I was gonna add that in. I was trying to just let him go ahead, but sometimes when you are quiet. And then you gotta go back and be like, yo, go add this in. Right. So yeah. that's why most of yep. I say it right off the bat. Right. Yeah. Because you gonna move on and yeah. then it's just like, oh yeah. Was, and then they hear it. What was the part that uh, they be at? Yo, they <laughs> the beat completely done. <laughs> niggas. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro. <laughs> what was it? He <laughs> <laughs> that oh, Y'all killed. Well, let's get out this uh, swamp. <laughs> 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 Anything for the shot, son. What's the video? Lucky I love her. Right. Cause I, I would be like, no. Right. You know, and put me, put me on TikTok. You know, put me on there. Yeah, they be the like, <laughs> they like <laughs> That's how they be. I can't. Yeah. That's how they be. <laughs> but yeah, that it's all love. Coming soon. Check me out.